Hello, I'm Sonric76 and I'm going to show you how to use multi MC. This thing. What it makes you to do is you can have many Minecrafters and um, well this isn't uh, how it will look for you. It will look like uh, this. If I just reset that, like this. What you do then, and of course I get uh, something on Skype. But uh, of course you can take one of these uh, if you have uh, one ready. But now I will make a new one. So then I just take add a new instance, and I can name it uh, mod thing. I will call it modding weird. There. Then you can take change icon, and you can take TNT stone, all these things, and. I'm sure you can you can drag out and in new uh, icons. So now I will just take this creeper. You can rename it, copy instance. You can copy it, and let's say you have many mods like I actually have on my. Um, let me see, which of them? Test subject. Yes, this one. Uh, if I then take edit mods, here you can see I have quite a few. Not much config actually, but still. You take exports. Yes, we we'll take this. Yes, I want everything of it. And then I just go in here. Uh, Scribble are here. It's just a Norwegian. And then I just take on a random Minecraft I have here somewhere. Well, I can I can just write random crap here. And it will uh, storage it on the file. And I have a stupid dog that's making sound, sorry. Um, well, that's uh, one of the things you can do. Uh, you can also add mods quite easily. You just take edit mods. Here is the jar mods. It will add an instance folder, this thing, when you run it first time. You find it here. Dog, stop! Stop your stupid dog. Um, you will find it here on this page. I will take a download link in the description. Well, you just go down here, download the multi MC, and then. One moment, I will just uh, stop my. No, where was I? Um, you can add mods quite. Uh, quite easily. All you need to do is to drag the mods into jar mods, then core mods, you know, forge. Why is that one there? Move. And texture packs, you can just drag in. You can do it quite easily. So um, you go in the instances folder that you're going to get, and then you go to the Minecraft. Uh, or actually, if I don't remember wrong, you just go here, and here is the place you take your mods. That's quite easy. So then I can add a mod, and it will go to this folder. And then you just drag instead of you need you know open it with 7zip and drag files out like this take everything drag it on the right place you know this is much easier and everything is in one place easy to remove the mods afterwards and the other cool thing if you want a totally vanilla minecraft like this um, if you want to downgrade uh, first I need to play it one time well uh, you can downgrade with this thing to well, down to alpha actually. I'll come back when uh, I've storaged the Minecraft. Now, as I am done uh, downloading Minecraft, I have a 1.4.2 Minecraft here. Then you can take the downgrade or snapshot. And then choose what you want. Example: If I want, um, let's say beta 1.8, uh, if I just find it here, bang, beta 1.8. And then we'll download it for me. I'll come back when it's no, I'm done. So then if I take play, okay. I'll log in. So now I should be in yes. Minecraft Beta 1.8. Mods and texture packs. I actually didn't know that. Hmm. I can check in alpha and see if Harrowbad exists. That's actually a good idea. Uh, but uh, I hope this has been a good tutorial on things. Laggy.
Uh, by the way, uh, what in the world? Um, by the way, uh, at the moment uh, it's a little bug with uh, multi MC that uh, it doesn't care how much RAM you give it. Uh, that's something I didn't show off. What the? Oh, you need to hit there. <laughs> I've never used beta, sorry. Um, anyway, how um, you can go to the settings and here you can take much uh, colors, Minecraft, size, you know. Never updated that. But here is the most important. I gave it a minimum of one gigabyte and the maximum of five. What does it do? It just uses 200 megabytes. It's annoying. So uh, it, it's a bug right now. I hope they will fix it. Uh, so MultiMC understand that I get 50 FPS normally with this one. And with this one, I get one with a texture pack on 128. And 128, but specs, you know. But uh, yeah, that's an annoying bug. But here you can have unlimited Minecraft. And how you get this to be like, um, uh, well, first thing is like this. If I just do that, voila. I have it like that, and you can right click on things, you know. So, um, thanks for watching. Please write a comment and subscribe, and have a nice day.